Some students seem to never study and still get stellar grades. Their secret is that they don't memorize anything. They understand it. Most of them do it naturally, but you can also learn this skill. Let me show you how. Let's say you have to study 100 pages worth of knowledge. Most people start reading right away. They take notes on every chapter, and as they get to the last one, they have already forgotten everything. The point I'm trying to make is that in order to truly understand something, you have to simplify it. What I do is start with a very simple map or list where I organize the most important concepts I'm going to study. Then I progressively add details. And since I have the big picture figured out, it's much easier to understand everything. Here are a few examples. I recently studied the chain of events from the French Revolution to the unification of Italy about a hundred years that we can sum up in these key points. This timeline gives me a general understanding of what happened and why it happened. I can then make a second version, adding details and events. Having this mental map will also help me integrate new information from the teacher or the textbook. I also had to study the structure of molecules. I made a list of all the models I had to learn and took note of why they were useful. Now that I understood the fundamentals, I could look into how each model worked and start exercising. But of course, a mind map alone wouldn't teach me how to do exercises. For that, I needed a toolbox. Let's say you have all the knowledge in the world. How exactly do you apply that information? I find it very useful to create a toolbox that contains every technique I have learned for easy reference. This way, I won't forget any important detail the day of the test. Let me show you what I mean. I might be studying thermodynamics and I have to figure out how much work some gas is doing using this data. In class, I had added two formulas in my toolbox and one of them just so happens to contain work. I already know the heat added to the system, so I only need the change in internal energy. I look in my toolbox and there's a formula just for that. Now it's just about doing some math and I have my result. Yo. If you got to this point, I would like you to take some time and thank yourself. Not everybody takes their future this seriously. So even if you're not getting amazing grades right now, be proud of who you are and be proud that you are trying to improve. Also take some time to move around and go get a glass of water. You probably need it. This is probably the most important step to follow. No matter what you're studying, you should always identify your end goal. This could be solving an equation or identifying the motives behind a war. Now that you have this idea in mind, think about how to get there. What is the best way to study specifically for that end goal? Let me show you some examples. My teacher might ask me what the characteristic of a certain statue are. I know that my end goal is to tell him what's happening in the statue, what style it belongs to, and why it is considered beautiful. Now, I can study specifically to answer those questions, and I'm much more likely to intuitively remember everything in the future. Let's say I want to solve this equation. My end goal is to end up with something like this, that I can easily solve. To do it, I can use the substitution method from my toolbox. However, that only works when everything is either a sine or a cosine. But hey, I can use the Pythagorean identity, also in my toolbox, to turn sines into cosines. Now that I have a path, solving the equation won't be as confusing. Or maybe it will. Okay, no matter how hard you try, math is still hard. Especially if your teacher is not a good teacher. However, Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video, can help. Brilliant is an online platform full of courses on math and science. The reason I love it is that their modules are specifically designed to build your intuition. Each lesson is full of animations and problems to solve. I'm studying trigonometry at school and they have a course on it. I can get the intuition from Brilliant and immediately apply it in class. You can also do the same with science, statistics and probability. If you're serious about improving your grades but struggle with math or science, or simply want to learn something new every day, I would give Brilliant a shot. If you use the link in the description, you will get a 30-day free trial and a 20% discount. This means that if you have an exam coming up, you can study with Brilliant for free and only pay if you want to continue using their platform. I just shared some powerful tools that will help you study much more effectively, but there's a catch. 
What if the topic is too hard to understand? Both the teacher and the book explain it in a super complicated way and you can't even make a mind map or a toolbox. Luckily for you, this is 2024 and you can use the world's most revolutionary technology for free. I'm talking about AI. ChatGPT is literally a personal teacher with access to the internet that can answer all your questions if you use it the right way. Let me teach you how to do it. I'm studying physics and we have just started talking about waves. I don't understand what an electromagnetic wave actually is. Can you please explain it to me in five levels of difficulty? I want some intuition about waves, some practical examples, and an understanding of the formulas involved. Please generate one level of difficulty at a time and only move on to the next when I tell you to. There are a few interesting things about this prompt. First, I'm telling the AI what my problem is. This way I can get help tailored to my needs. I also mentioned the elements I want to be present in the explanation. This is another way to personalize the learning experience. And finally, I asked the AI to make sure that I understood every level of difficulty before it moved on. This is obvious to a human, but not to a machine. I'm going to leave some prompts in my free community that you can copy paste to turn ChatGPT into your teacher. Make sure to check them out. This was it for today. Now you know how to study smart. And if you also want to be faster, you can check out this video. See ya.